Alright, we're checking out the only game where the entire point is to run people over so you can earn money to buy more stuff to run people over with. It's earn to die. I'm starting with a Volkswagen bug and a board called New Hope. I don't know what that word means. Neither does he. Oh, that leg kind of followed me pretty far. I can't even believe I made it past the second hill. Now in the beginning, you start with almost nothing, earning almost no money. But as time goes on, I eventually want to break the game. I can tell you right now, always give me more gas. Yes. Now beyond just that simple car, there's also other such things, such as my dad's <laughs> GMC truck. A Humvee, a school bus. This costs $1.5 million? Oh. So yeah, we're gonna get this with everything you possibly have on it. I'm telling you, the, the main resource in this game of any value is always going to be gasoline. As long as you have gasoline, you can give people a face massage. Well, they're not really people, see? They're, they're zombies, which makes all of this violence totally okay. Now, let's finish this up. I'm almost at a quarter of a tank now. Depending on what kind of car this is, a quarter of a tank would get you either like 30 miles or 300 miles. If this thing was a, was a 1997 Toyota Camry, I get like 37 miles to the gallon with that old car. Oh yeah, come on, just roll down the hill. Perfect, there you go. Yeah, use gravity to your advantage for once. I don't know if that counts as a kill or what. Oh, they're very fragile zombies. All right, we have enough money to finish off the fuel tank. And look at that, 45 bucks and 45 bucks for an automated saw blade. Oh, they call it a metal buffer into <laughs> spiky gear. All right, so how, how much does this bumper on the front end? Oh my God. All right, well, the bumper's pretty good. I, I kind of wish I would have taken a like 800 pounds of tin foil. You know, crumpled it up and strapped it on the front of my car way in the beginning. Oh yeah, this lets you get way further. Beautiful. See, now we're earning $73 per run. Is this a plane prop? Like, it's just a propeller. It's a literal propeller. You can upgrade the propeller. What am I doing to it? Am I like torturing it so it spins faster? Oh, it's a boost. Okay, how much boost do I get? Not very much. I can see it there in the bottom right hand side of the screen. It's not really much of a boost though. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a really bad air conditioning system. It's not, it's not really going to last very long, like at all. Like here. Oh my God. Okay, maybe it's better than a really bad air conditioning system. I did not give this thing enough credit. $79. Oh, yeah, can I just can I, can I put like a bunch of money into this, please? Thank you. I have almost more boost fuel than I have normal fuel. Can I save a little bit of fuel by just allowing this thing to roll down hills or should I just keep my speed up? I feel like I should just keep my speed up. We're only going like 20 miles. Oh, wow. We're only going like 20 miles an hour right now. That looks like an explosive barrel. I really don't want to park directly over it. Wow. Yes. What comes after an airplane propeller? Do you eventually get a like a space shuttle rocket or something on the back? Just like a literal sidewinder missile chilling out on the top of your car? Feels like something this game would do. All right, move over to the boost. There we go. I'm going to try and, you know, just boost now and again to get us extra distance. All right, boost is maxed out. What's next? Better engine. Ooh, I need $110 for the big one. How about boost into accelerate? Is that any better? I have no idea. I just landed on a man's cranium. You can definitely get a little extra distance by doing it this way because I managed to roll down this hill that way. So I, I you can see I got like an extra $10 just by alternating between the gas and the boost. Give me the biggest engine you got. I got more money left over. Five speed gearbox, 125 bucks. Three speed gearbox, was this from 1971? So, uh, getting a better engine is pretty good. Not gonna lie. This car's starting to look kitted out. How much is the next one? 500 bucks? I mean, I guess I'll finish this up. Oh my God. Oh, the suspension on this thing is killer now. Yes. Oh, torsos. How I've missed you. Uh, big bounce. Beautiful. I haven't even used my boost yet. We're almost to where I had gotten before. I'll use some boost now. Oh, I was in a full flip. I threw some spiky gear on the front. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> Excellent! With the super slow-mo. I was like Jason zombie over there. That's interesting. I didn't know Jason Voorhees was in the game. Threw some boxes. Blast up here. New personal best. Almost to the end. I don't even know if I'm going to get the shotgun. I might just save up for this. Or this. I'm buying it. More gas. How is this so much faster? 
and I don't even have any upgrades in it. Oh my god. I don't know what kind of drugs this van is doing, but I'm really happy I bought it. I have now officially gotten much further than I got with the bug with almost nothing upgraded in this thing. Give me all the gas. There's something very ironic about a bus with the peace symbol on the side just mowing all of the zombies over. I have two propellers. That's what the bus gets. Do I need a pilot's license to drive this thing? Because I feel like I should need a pilot's license to drive this thing. Oh, okay. You need to use the boost very, very subtly because it goes kind of crazy when you do. I've got plenty of gas and a total lack of morals. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I love that even, you know, 40 miles an hour or whatever it says seems like it's so much faster in this bus. I'm not gonna lie. I can get the best engine. I say best engine. I think it was like 1.8 liter engine. Oh, wow. Okay. The engine was a, uh, was a pretty decent investment. As a matter of fact, that may bring us all the way to the end of this board. From New Hope to Desert Dash. I've been running over zombies for 23 straight days. Considering I'm already at $1,200, I feel like I should just sit here and unlock this in the next thousand bucks. I'm just gonna see real fast what we can do on the desert dash. The desert looks much the same as the New Hope. Oh, now there's concrete I have to run through. Great. Who's the one putting all this together? Roll down the hill. Roll down the hill. There ya go. Good job. $479 in a single run. There's someone stuck on my bumper. Never mind. There was someone stuck on my bumper. I love it. They just precariously stacked two explosive barrels in the middle of nowhere. Yep. It's happening. 200 bucks, I can even get a little bit more gas in this thing. All right, so how, oh, okay, uh-huh. It doesn't have a ton of power. It's like a, it's like a little orange missile. I'm pretty sure the flames on the side of it just give it extra inhuman power. I love that because it's so short. It can just go underneath everything. Yep, explosive barrels, no big deal. Again, with effectively no upgrades, it is already past where the van had gotten. That's fantastic. Uh. Just roll down the hill. Roll. All right. Or just sit up at the top of the hill. 800 bucks. Fuel. Stuff is blowing up behind me. Just don't look. Avert your eyes, my sweet. Everything's going to be all right. Get down this hill. Yes. Yes. Uh. <laughs> I just, I was just dropping that guy off at his Uber stop. Uh, is this just a, is this just like a, uh, a, a, a can opener? Oh, first things first though. Whatever this is. Okay. The propellers are starting to get bigger than the car. They give you a lot of propeller, uh, gas fluid stuff. They give you a lot of propeller juice right in the beginning too. Only the first level of it. I need $2,700 for this next engine. All right. Got the money. I guess I could buy a better gearbox if I wanted to as well. And a little bit more jet fuel. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I have the feeling that we're going to make it past our last personal best. Now, there is one part here. We really need to save your boost. It's right here. Because honestly, you don't want to get caught in that pit doing absolutely nothing. Yeah, there goes the personal best. Very good. Just keep powering through with the boost. Oh, lovely. Yeah, let's throw some blades on there. How much do blades reduce the speed lost from, uh... Oh, this thing ju makes Julian fries out of zombies. Oh, I had no idea. I mean, they didn't really look that sharp in the, uh... In the magazine that I bought them out of. I don't really know where I'm buying this stuff from. My tires are blinged out. Got the blades. Got twin propellers in the back of my car. Not exactly sure why they're just chilling out in line with one another, but whatever. You know, dabbing on zombie heads. No big deal. Suspension on this thing is amazing. And end of the board. I love that this is just an auto service station. I'm gonna need a lot more than just auto service. Yeah, go ahead. Put a light machine gun on top of the car. Why not? Give me some extra ammo for it too. So does it uh, shoot by itself? Oh, it totally shoots by itself. Oh my God, it's amazing. The accuracy in this thing is so good, which is fantastic because I have terrible accuracy. Big uphill area. Ah, there's jumping zombies now. They're kind of derpy though, so they missed like a lot. Ah! It's just towers of boxes. Who took the time to put all this together? I want names. $2,700. I mean, I guess they not only like, you know, I don't know, I guess twirl, but they also slowly pulsate 
It's kind of freaky, to be honest with you. I'm going like 25 miles an hour, and this dude is chasing my car down. That is some pretty good zombie stamina. So it may just be me, but I think we're going to get a new personal best. There it is. He is hanging on the back of my car. Lit well, he was hanging on the back of my car. Yep, we got the truck. I love that they didn't even bother putting a door on the truck. Can I get can I get the truck with the door, please? I feel like I'll, with all the money I paid, I should get a door. This truck is nothing but rust. Where did this thing come from, Connecticut? On the plus side, you gain money so fast now. That is a literal jet turbine that just sits on the truck. All right, well, let me start with a new engine and a little extra gas. $7,200 for a turbine, huh? You got it. Why do I feel like this would do nothing but slow the truck down? How much does a jet turbine weigh? I feel like it's not negligible. The real question is, when you turn the turbine on, does it set the zombies behind you on fire? If it does, oh, we have liftoff. Oh, God. I could twist the vehicle over on the left side of the screen. I honestly don't think it needs it. We're going to complete this, and we're going to unlock everything, and you'll see. You get to the point where you just don't even need it. Give me the big tires. Okay, now the truck's lifted. Now this is what I'm talking about. This feels like something I would have bought in a sketchy garage in Florida. They were like, how much tire would you like, Gray? And I was like, yes. Sometimes I start to think that the tires may be more important than the engine. Just roll on down there. Just coast on down. You're almost there. $7,900. I went ahead and busted out the truck completely. Honestly, I think I'm only gonna do the most busted version of each car because the, all the other upgrades, it just aren't worth it. You end up running the board over and over again. So I'm just going to show you guys what you get <laughs> when you upgrade stuff all the way. I'm not going to lie. Having like a gigantic six foot long chainsaw on the front of this truck was probably some of the best money I ever spent on a vehicle in my life. It's got like zombie cologne on it too. For some reason, they all just jump right toward it. Okay. Didn't know there was just a sheer wall there whatever as you can see we managed to beat the board with this crazy version a twelve thousand dollars cactus ride that sounds awful all right let's see how far this can get and then we'll get the next version all tricked out all right cactus ride let's see how far my beautiful floridian limousine can take me we've been through so much together no joke i probably played the other board like a hundred times just to get enough stuff so i could have this thing with all of the four-wheel drive bling this seems so unsafe the fact of the matter it, it's got to be the zombies that are doing all this which is weird because i guess all the zombies I don't know, went to shop like, oh, I have military zombies now. They never missed a day in shop class or something. They're very industrious zombies. Huh, I will almost get to the end of this with the tricked out truck. You know, two thirds of the way there, 23 grand. I've been at it. Look at this, the diesel, the medium machine gun. And yes, there's a double jet turbine on this thing. It's just butcher knives spinning randomly. And this thing is ridiculously fast. I might even say I would give up my my truck for this thing. Oh, it can fly. Oh, put some wings on her. She can absolutely fly. I don't know if anyone had any doubt, but I have a feeling we're going to be making it through this level. I'm not even using a lot of the boost. I need to use some of it just to just to kind of get a little bit of extra fun in. Well, we're past our previous personal bet, and we are going like 60 miles an hour. Let me bust this thing way out. There we go. Got a little bit of boost left. Use it while I'm on fire. <laughs> woo -hoo -hoo! Sticks to landing. Wow. Over to Forgotten Hills. It's funny that we actually have some green background now. Forgotten Hills is a uh, pretty great place. There's lots of wooden planks. I guess all the different zones have that, though. The zombies over here are especially healthy. They're jumping even faster and now I have to run into bricks isn't that nice the zombies are learning how to build their own entire villages with bricks I might actually get past more than two-thirds because uh, I feel like I got a lot farther than I did in the last board with the fully tricked out vehicle I wonder if you could beat the last like the last board that there is with the second to last vehicle because that's where we stopped a hundred and eleven thousand dollars Money's coming fast. I've got a bus with a hyperjet thruster and an eight liter diesel engine. Oh, and by the way, some circular saws on the front because why not? School's in, boys. <laughs> oh my God. The zombies don't even slow this thing down. Wee! 
Oh my god, education was never so good. Big jump. Look at the suspension. This thing hauls. It just goes over the bricks. Big gas tank too, which I really enjoy. Giving yourself enough ammo is really nice as well because it takes out the first 25 or so zombies. You don't have to do anything. Well, I'm pretty sure I just ran over the entire, like the entire zombie city just got annihilated by algebra. If any of you guys make it inside the bus, I'll take you to school for free. How's that? Oh my god! <laughs> I still had a quarter tank left. 275,000. Silent Woods. Woods aren't so silent anymore. Oh, God. The best part is, imagine that kid that gets to be right next to the hyper jet engine in the back of the school bus, like, blow your eardrums out. Do you think we can make it through this entire thing? That is a massive zombie. That zombie never skipped leg day. Good for him. He also drank his water and stayed off his cell phone. I still have ammo. Well, I did have ammo. There's, like, three zombies trying to get to school right now. I do, I, I have to commend their desire for education. Look at how, you know, hard they're holding on to the back over here. Yeah, you always stop right about in the same spot. What? Half a million dollars. Don't take long. This is what you get when you cross Iron Man with a trucker. You get a 16 liter diesel engine, a plasma gun, and rockets. A plasma gun. Plasma gun. Oh my god. Go! This thing has so much weight that the stuff that previously at least slowed down the other vehicles. Oh wow, I'm just going off the top of this thing. Yes! Ugh, I landed halfway down <laughs> the board. <laughs> yeah, no one wants to go to school anymore now, huh? Not when I traded in my school bus for an 18 wheeler. Although I guess it doesn't have the other 18 wheels. That needs to be an 18 wheeler. Brand new construction going up around here. Taxes inside a zombie bill are about to go up because they're gonna need to fix all this. God, the acceleration on this thing is insane. One million dollars. Off from the white peak. What a beautiful. Beautiful view of, I don't know, Colorado in the background there. What's the skiing like here? I'd ask, but uh, I'm too busy running everyone over. Look, this is what I spend all my money on. What's amazing is how much money we've put into zombie slaying. I don't think anyone's ever put this much money into it. You know, usually it's like a one and done thing. You set up your, your base, you kill the zombies, and that's pretty much it. But I, at this point, I have, spe I have spent well over $10 million killing zombies at this point. Probably more than anyone else on the entire planet. Like I said, though, you don't even need to learn how to turn this thing up or down. You just need to go straight. 2.6 million. Well, this is where we finally end at. The turbo engine, whatever that is, the Goss gun, and a super booster. Now, this doesn't look like it would- Oh my god, never mind. I was gonna say this doesn't look like it would be very fast. Oh my god. This, listen to that baby purr. When the when the booster engine starts going, it's pretty hilarious. Hold on, I wanna, I wanna jump off this. I need to ramp most of this board. Yes! Oh my god. I still have ammo left, and I'm almost halfway through the board. Usually, I use up all my ammo within the first 20 seconds or so. So, um, in case you are wondering, this does have the gumption that you need. I, I'm even, I even have a little bit more boost that I might as well go ahead and use. This absolutely has the gumption that you need to beat the board. As a matter of fact, I'm almost going to have probably another quarter of a tank left. I may have more than a quarter of a tank left because I've got a lot of speed and not very many things are slowing me down. Also, the zombies can go 80 miles an hour now. The zombies are flash zombies. They're a Evolving due to my truck. Oh, luckily there's a gas station. Six point seven million dollars. All right, we're almost there. Exodus Drive. Is there no one else? Are there any other evolved zombies that I must deal with? I'm out of ammo. So if you're gonna evolve, now's the time because uh, I might not have a way to deal with you. Just kidding. I probably have a way to deal with you because I've, I've managed to strap the engines that gets shuttles to leave space onto this truck. Where did I even get this stuff from? Like. Who even sold this to me? What, was NASA just chilling out? They were like, yeah, no one else is buying it. So you know what? You're the first one that gets it in the zombie apocalypse. I cannot believe that shuttle engines are not more desired in the zombie apocalypse. I am, I am going into an Air Force craft. I am loading up. I don't even think this thing can take off with me in it. Why are we even using this plane? My vehicle can destroy the planet at this point. Does this mean I get to survive or did the zombies get so smart they're going to shoot us down with surface-to-air missiles? Here it is. Look. Oh, never mind. I screwed up. Congratulations!
friends. Ah, yes. Just another day in the office going to Florida. You may see what looks like a bunch of zombie bodies slipping over the car. These are all paid actors, okay? They're, they're all in this for the money. There's no actual injuries going on. This is a long course, and I am running out of money very quickly. Oh, I didn't just run out of money. I blew the engine. Over here in Oregon or whatever, 13 zombies is worth $5. The market has really crashed. As usual, we have to use our money on very important things, such as a bigger engine. Also, are we just going to strap a gun to the roof of the car? We are, aren't we? We're just going to strap a gun to the roof of the car. What other cars are there? Oh, there's an ice cream van. It looks somewhat ominous and creepy. A police car, a sports car, like a rally car, my mom's SUV, like an armored car. Oh, and then this. Obviously, we have to get this and then just completely deck this out. I never thought I would have to go through so much effort to get back to Florida. Like, I'm already here, and now everyone's trying to stand. It's like I go on vacation one day, and now everyone's trying to stand in my way. You know what else I need to do? Strap a jet engine to this thing. I think that would be a great idea. Wow, a little bit of extra power in the engine goes a long way. Oh, it gives you an update every time. I gotta save a little money because I really want to strap this Costco fan to the car. Also, how come there's just weights? What are you gonna do with, like, old weights off of Craigslist? I'm spending the rest of my money. I've been grinding zombies for a little bit, and before you can ask, yes, I absolutely strapped a gun to the top of this thing. I don't know who's firing it. It really doesn't matter. Are you ready? Yeah, my grinder on the front came fresh from the supermarket. Normally, it's meant to grind, you know, ham and stuff, but ham and zombies have a lot in common. All right, now, if you drive far enough, you can actually make it to the gas station. Let me see if I can get there. Out of the way, boxes! It's like one half of a Floridian road trip and one half a Nissan commercial. Okay, I've cranked this thing up. Oh, the speed. Oh, wow. Oh, the agility. I'm getting all the money crates this time. I leave no money crate behind. Out of the way. All right, I spent a lot of cash on gas, so I think for the first time, we're gonna make it to the gas station. I still have almost a quarter tank. I am impressed at how long these levels are. I had no idea. Who here likes strawberry jam? Is this like pump your own gas or? Oh, that counts, it's a checkpoint. Oh, sweet. Are you serious? I just barely can afford another gearbox upgrade. All right, bigger fan. More than anything, I'm surprised that there's gas left to get. Oh, Michael Jackson zombies. See how good you are at- Ow! Pa apparently being on fire is its own benefit. 100%, we're getting the gas station out of the way. <sighs> that zombie was too tall. I had to cut him in half for his own good. Call me Dr. Gray, except I get a lot more malpractice suits than the traditional doctor. Well, maybe not these days. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. No joke, this is a really tough level to be. I have had to max out everything about my car so far, and it is maxed out. We are just barely going to make it to the end. I was on E. Oh yeah, start with the basics. All right, I'm just gonna see what the level kind of looks like, and then I'm gonna bust this ride out to the point where it's completely unrecognizable, and it also probably gets about one mile per gallon. Doing a real good job just absolutely destroying the paint job. Give me that crate. Whoa, yeah, give me a minute. Oh boy, that's a decent sized fan. I had to grind out a little bit of money to actually get somewhere, but now this thing is looking legit. Upgrades are getting kind of expensive though. All this death, all this destruction, just to get to the first checkpoint. I love that the front of the car is just like if I raided some kid's Connects collection or something. <laughs> just a bunch of gear. I mean, they're all gone now, but it was just like a bunch of gears. 3,000! We don't need speed limits. Where we're going. All the zombies are like, for the love of God, Gray, please follow the speed limit. Make this stop. A lot of bouncing and gyrating and all kinds of stuff on this level. Look at this. First checkpoint completed. No easy task. At this point, I think I get the idea, but I need to get to where the rest of the amazing cars are and see how ridiculous we can get them by maxing them all out. So no joke. I think I'm going to make it but there is almost nothing left of my car. It is on fire. Oh my God, there's only one wheel left. I can't move it. Ooh, big money. 
Come on, you twisted hunk of garbage. You can make it. It's basically just like a, a steering wheel attached to a pipe cleaner at this point. I almost fell down the ultimate pit of despair. Oh, it's gonna make it to the end, please. Yes, we're gonna get in a car. The police cruiser. I love that the game says you're getting so rich that they had to simplify the money. So uh, I got a problem. I was playing the game and I saved up a bunch of money because I wanted to unlock a bunch of things for you guys. And so I clicked on this and normally you click buy once and then it leaves. So I clicked on it and then I did this and it ended up glitching out my money. <laughs> I don't know what number this is, but this is not what I'm supposed to have. So, infinite money. Well, uh, it used to be a police car. Now it is literally a jet on wheels. I've got a double barreled rifle or something on the roof. I don't know at this point. Did you see? It is a jet engine. That is what is flying this thing. Look at it. <laughs> oh God. I don't take damage anymore. Damage takes me. I'm actually somewhat curious if the glitched out money is enough to buy every upgrade in the game. Well, what do you know? We made it to the gas station with no issues. Listen, some people put superchargers on their car. Oh, wow. I put a deli slicer on mine. Seemed like a fantastic upgrade. Yeah, I got it online. This car is impressively good at climbing random stuff too. Oh, finally you can see the police emblems again. Oh, yep, full flip, no problem. That's what they teach you in police academy. Uh, to be fair, we're getting a lot of money anyway. Okay, whoever built this, you're fired. The Captain America zombies and their ability to keep up with this car is very disconcerting. Oh, hold on. I mean, listen, I could always use more money, okay? Is that a Mr. Burns zombie? I think I may have just seen a Mr. Burns zombie. Okay, car's starting to smoke. That doesn't look good. When you get on top of those things, that's great because it saves you so much damage. Hopefully my tire doesn't start falling off. Oh, we made it to the end with a smoking. Why is there a random arm trying to get into my sports car? Also, this money is getting out of control. So this is what it looks like now. Okay, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, what happens if we throw a little bit of that on there? Ah, yeah. Okay, so it definitely wasn't infinite money, but it got us a lot of cash. That went a long way. <laughs> oh, boy. So what does this gun do? Is it, oh, wow. Okay. What, do we take this off of like an A-10 Warthog and just put it on my, my Ferrari over here? Remember, everyone, if you can never have too much money, that's what this game has taught me so far. There's a lot of money crates on this board. Oh, I'm breaking the cell barrier. Oh my God. And yeah, made it to the gas station. Yeah, I think we're gonna need to put some extra weight inside this car. See, this is what the car looks like before you give it to the valet. This is what it looks like afterward. I love that now it's not even really items so much. It's just like random crates that we're, that we're rolling on. Just random shipping containers. Why not? Uh, ow. I have a feeling this car is just, is like barely going to be surviving to the end of every level now. Maxed out. I got an achievement, zombie smasher. I'm not really smashing the zombies. I'm more just like mowing them down with the random gun that I decided to put on the top of the car. Man, when they started selling gigantic rail guns over at the Sam's Club, that was a great idea. Oh, that that reg, that arm right there that came down from the heaven gave me a high five. Okay, we got a real problem. I still have like halfway to go and I do not have much car left. I need to figure out a way to bounce this thing off of most of my problems. Okay, starting to smoke. That ain't good. My engine is basically exposed at this point. I lost my booster, like the entire booster. So it's good if you use up your boost right away. I've got to do that from now on. Let's give this thing a facelift before, afterward. In case you're wondering, yeah, this thing purrs like a kitten. And just like a kitten, it'll eat your pizza right off of your plate and then slap you across the face. Also, the boost on this thing is legit. Look at it. It's like some kind of pulse rocket. I don't know what kind of fuel this thing runs on, but it's probably illegal. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Put that gun on there. Yeah, this looks like something you could pick up over at CarMax. Oh, the, the cannons are in the front now. <laughs> Great, so I get to be deafened by the sound of my own cannon. All right, so what does the boost look like? Are you ready? Whoa! Oh my God. Oh, this gun is incredible. Oh, there is, it's just nonstop explosions. Oh, it's like, it's like one of those Transformers movies. 
they spent all of the all of the money on blowing stuff up and nothing on actual acting skills or scene. Yeah, could you uh, could you like uh, give me a, a windshield wipe and also fill up the tank, please? No joke. The recently like duplicated money may be enough to get the final car. I don't know because the money keeps basically multiplying in really stupid mathematically impossible ways, but you never know. Now there's just falling explosive barrels. They're just falling. It's part of the forecast. See, as I get closer to Florida, this is what the weather is like. This is real stuff here, people. My gun is just barely hanging onto the front. Oh, never mind. I'm <laughs> just leave that behind. It was out of ammo anyway, I guess. All that money I spent on it. Open air chassis. I like it. Okay, I hate to say it, but I might actually need to drive a little bit careful because the damage that the zombies and the environment are causing to my van now are doing a ton of damage. Ow. To the point where when I get to the finish line, there's almost nothing left. You saw it. So I want my gun to use every single bit of ammo it can. Okay, gun is out of ammo. Now it's all about, oh wow, explosive barrels. Oh yeah, explosive barrels are easily my favorite food group. Protecting the vehicle helped a lot. I still have quite a bit left of the, <laughs> the gun is just car wheeling, murdering everyone in its path. That was amazing. <laughs> the gun works better as a ninja star. Okay, I'm low on gas. I'm low on durability, but I'm almost there. If I just roll down this hill, roll down there. New car, the fire engine. All right, we're almost to Florida. Let's trick this thing out. The amazing fire truck. There's a million other things that they could have put on this fire truck and they call it the amazing fire truck. Oh, 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 oh boy. Ooh, woo. This thing is bouncy. The shocks are fantastic, which is good because otherwise I'd be going through a ton of spinal compression right now. Oh, yeah. I love what the world has become. How there's really no, I don't know, you know, residential areas or suburbs or anything. It's just one giant commercial area now. Property values have really gone down. I was gonna say, once you get to a certain point in the game, it doesn't let you go back anymore. So I almost screwed myself there. Okay, now it's time to get the last car. So this is where we're starting. Rookie vehicle. Do I have enough money? Did it, did it, oh no. It, it does cost a lot for these upgrades. Let me get very specific upgrades that'll help me max this thing out. Oh, I think we're gonna be able to do it. I think I just barely have enough money. Yes! <laughs> what is this? Well, uh, this seems fair. Boom! Okay, my little slicer just took off, so that's gone now. So at this point, I've got my gun that doesn't work anymore, a lot of armor plating, I've got a good amount of boost, a lot of boost actually, and a lot of fuel. Oh boy, Ooh. when half of your car starts hanging off, oh no, I lost the entire dumper. This car looked so big and now there's nothing left. And when I lost the entire back portion of the dump, it took the booster with it. <laughs> We're almost to where we need to get to in Florida. Okay, this is it, Florida. I can finally enjoy zombie retirement. The roof is caught. This is what I was talking about. Okay, it's fine, I fell down, everything's okay. I need to make sure that the mo as much of the vehicle as possible makes this to the end. And I gotta make sure to use my boost, like all of it. I've got five rounds left. Well, one round left, well, no rounds left. I used them all, just blew all that in one shot. Uh, the roof is falling off, which is nice because that roof was annoying me anyway. We're right about halfway there. I've got a decent amount of gas. I don't really have any boost left. And there is not much left of this vehicle. Oh, but the gun is just stabbing dudes in the eye. It is it is doing the work of the zombie gods right over here. Oh, what in Satan's macaroni was that? Well, I can't say I expected the board to make me go the speed of light and lose most of my truck. There's almost nothing left. I need to hope that the giant wheels in the front pull big duty here. Oh my God. Oh, this is so bad right now. I am falling and there's only two wheels on this thing left. Let go, explode. I'm almost there. Oh my God, this is so ridiculous. Please just make it, he's eating my car. Yeah. The game where apparently the zombies have gone to MIT. 
I'm not really sure, but somehow they are driving <laughs> vehicles now. <laughs> They're driving like gigantic steampunk powered death mobiles that have rockets attached to them. They can fire nuclear missiles at you. Kill 10 zombies get 10 zombie dollars. As you can imagine, you begin to unlock vehicles such as whatever this is, and also whatever this is. This looks like someone took the cab of an 18-wheeler and strapped the arc reactor in the back of it. Either way, we're gonna get all these and upgrade them. What can I upgrade for 135 souls? Yeah, whatever, let's throw some leather on the steering wheel. I like how zombies have evolved to the point where they're serving Starbucks. I feel kind of bad, should I even be harming these zombies? Don't forget to boost. Every time I boost, I feel like part of my life gets shortened. Now, once you get through so many feet, you eventually get to unlock brand new cars. Was that, did that zombie, was his head made out of fire? I think that one zombie's head may have been made out of fire. Can you see it? Did you see it right there? That is a flaming zombie head. Oh wow, you start to get a lot more money. Yeah, more transmission. So I've been doing this for a little while. I just realized something. As you upgrade the cars, they put different kits on the vehicle. Great, now I'm like a little mobile butcher shop. Oh yeah, I love the extra weight on this thing too. It drives so much better now. At this point, it doesn't matter how many squats a zombie can do. My delicatessen level blades can make julian fries out of even- Does that- is that zombie? <laughs> Does that zombie have prosthetic legs? I'm pretty sure that zombie was from Metal Gear Solid's, uh... Oh, I reached a thousand feet. Oh, the zombies! They can use motorcycles now too, eh? Pretty sure it was from Metal Gear Solid, uh, Revengeance or whatever. This is where all the zombies live. It's all their little houses. Blowing those down now. Yeah, they've, cre they've created an entire zombie culture, and I'm just murdering all of it. I love that the boost regenerates over time, so you can just keep the stupidity going for long periods. At this point, the zombies have done more for humanity than the humans have. Like, they've come up with prosthetic, incredible android legs. They've somehow mastered the elements, like airbenders. So there's like a zombie college around here somewhere. What is what is that flying on the drone? Desert Storm. Oh, did I just unlock a new vehicle? Sweet. Okay. Very good speed and some additional weight. Long shape and small wheels are bad for bumps. That's all this game is. Why would you give me this car? I still need to upgrade it though. Are you ready? Time for the upgrade. Yes, absolutely. Put put some giant like farm equipment on the front of my car. That makes tons of sense. Keanu Reeves sometimes asks me if I want more money. The answer is always yes. Now they're putting a gun on my vehicle. Can, does it does it, is there a, is there another level? There's another level. What else can you do to this thing? I have no idea what it does if anything, but this thing is completely maxed out. And you know, it has like a tank gun on the t on the top of it as well. Oh, 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 the aerodynamics of this thing is pretty amazing. It is. Front flip, no big deal. This thing is absurdly fast. Someone was like, "How much top speed would you like in this vehicle?" And the creator was like, "Yes, I'm going this space where I don't have to worry about zombies." Although to be fair. As much as the zombies have upgraded themselves somehow, it's possible they already can get to space. Also, we're going to be getting 2,000 feet in this thing like it's no big deal. Are you ready? 2,000 feet. Got it. I don't really know how anything can stop me other than the fact that I might not be able to get up this other vehicle. Yeah, it's pretty good. I love that I'm going from a place called Inferno to Dust Hills. Is this what the zombies are naming the residential areas? All right, 3,000 feet for a brand new vehicle. Doesn't seem like a big deal. By this point, the zombies are like learning how to do brain surgery and stuff. Look at this, this one zombie's grip strength is amazing. He's still on my car. We've gone like, a, like, going like 800 feet. The fashion sense of the zombies is fairly impressive as well. Yep, right through the zombie house. Feel kind of bad. I, the zombies probably made that because I don't think we did as a human race. I got nitro. Oh, it's probably bad for the environment, but it really doesn't matter right now. <laughs> Full flip. Sticks to landing. Oh, wow. I'm gonna have to have a chat with 
the creative director of whoever built these towns for the zombies because they're leaving explosive materials just everywhere. At this point, the zombie civilizations, I don't even really think that the zombies are doing anything bad. I think they're just like going to work, like taking their kids to school and stuff. Hey, Arnold, can you stop shooting rockets at me from your cruiser motorcycle? Thank you. Oh, I get double bonuses now. Sure. You got it. 100 feet. 119 feet. Give me the new vehicle. There it is. Say hello to Karen. Or is it Sharon? I only say that because, wait, isn't, isn't the ferryman for Hades, Karen, but the, the moon that the astro, that actual NASA <laughs> made around Pluto was Sharon. <laughs> I'm so glad I just got this new vehicle because no joke, trying to drive in this like Formula One car that's been turned into a zombie murdering machine is an absolute nightmare. Not very fast. Don't care. Get this thing out of here. My wife and I end up naming all of our cars after like female names. So you're, you're getting the name Sharon. Congratulations. All of the upgrades. It was double bonus money time. Since it's a fire truck, I'm gonna put the zombies out and then I'm gonna run them over. So I'm gonna save their life just so I can murder them. Oh, it is super cheap to level this thing up. All right, Sharon, I love you. Let's RKO some zombies together. Okay, they weren't kidding. It is not very fast. But the suspension on this thing is incredible. <laughs> oh, I love this thing. Get off my tires. RKO out of nowhere. This is the WWE of zombie vehicles. Oh, it just tap dances on zombie heads. I love it. All right, what's my, what's my boost? Oh, it's a nitro. That's great because I didn't really have a lot of speed to begin with. Ugh. I love it when I get to rest my tires on top of a motorcyclist. Houses, not a problem at all. Also, I'm pretty sure that one zombie was wearing a bucket on his head, kind of weird. I don't know why the zombies need armor. I don't really think there's anyone else attacking them but me, it's just one guy. Like Keanu Reeves is around, but I'm pretty sure all he does is take my money and like put more stuff on my vehicle. Welcome to Michael Bayville population. Well, like four less after I just killed all those zombies. All right, so now the upgrade is nitro again. Honestly, just keep the nitro coming. I don't even think I can die in this thing. Like eventually I'm gonna take damage, but wow. Look at this, 4,000 feet. 4280. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of map pieces. I have a feeling we're going to be able to open up a new map. In fact, I may be able to skip a map. Yeah, give me the desert. Wait, wasn't I just at the desert? This just looks like more desert. Maybe it's just me. This is the desert. Is that guy, was that guy wearing, oh, like water? Is he making sure to hydrate? I mean, that's great. These zombies take better care of themselves than humans do. Maybe that's the plot twist. Maybe this whole time, it's not like about the humans killing the zombies. Like I'm the bad guy, basically. The zombies were the original species and the humans are just messing everything up. There is a, a zombie wearing a horny helmet. That zombie right there has a jet pack. We got the evil Knievel zombie right there. If the rest of the vehicle upgrades are like this one, I'm gonna be loving them. Bowling for zombros. Sorry, man. Big jump. Why do some of these zombies have flamethrowers? Like, what kind of problems do you guys have besides me? They live in Florida. I guess it's palmetto bugs. Oh, I got more ammo. I go through it so fast. I love that it's like Amazon shipments are still going even in the zombie apocalypse. Hurricane. <laughs> I know all about that. Maybe this is Florida. I got a new record. And it's not like by a little bit. It's like by a lot. 4,500 feet. 5,000 feet, 6,000 feet. I am only a thousand feet away from upgrading the next car. And I didn't even have to get the previous car to get here. I was able to do this with Sharon. Sharon is my new BFF. Your full name is Sharon Stoned. You and I are going to be getting along real well, Sharon. And there it is. <laughs> it's the one with the arc reactor in the back. This thing got to 7,400 feet. Wow. I'll never forget you, Sharon. All right, so what do you get on lightning? 
That doesn't look like much. Oh, it already had a bunch of grindy things on it. I'm just putting like an extra bumper guard on there. This thing is like the vehicle version of a baked potato. It's so squat. Lower on the cannon. All right, just enough to upgrade it fully. I love it. All right, how good is this thing at being impressive? It doesn't have any ground clearance like it said, but it is really fast. And it's really heavy. It's basically just like driving a brick. It's got pretty decent armor too. Crazy boost. Oh my god! Crazy boost is amazing! Woo, full flip. <laughs> So yeah, the boost on this thing is completely nuts. All right, unlock the swamp. Maybe this one's Florida. I need to go 6,000 feet to get to a new car. Oh, this is, this place is lovely. That reminds me a little bit of New Orleans. Well, the zombies around here have been eating well. Have you noticed there's some like very overweight zombies around here? Whoa, what happened there? I can already tell you this is the wrong car for this board. We're going back to Sharon. Oh, I just realized the driver of this car is Tom Selleck. Yeah, sorry, Lightning. Whenever you're in New Orleans, you gotta pick the vehicle with great suspension and great height. This thing jumps like a champ. Why would you ever want to use any other vehicle besides this? I'm so glad I named this thing Sharon because it is behaving a lot like a gigantic meatball that might be surrounding Pluto. Sharon and I get along so well. Should have never gotten that divorce. Look at that, 2,000 feet like it's nothing. 2,300 feet to the next car, not even worried, not even slightly. Also, I love that some of the zombies are now wearing ghillie suits because, you know, they need to blend in with their surroundings while they're hunting other human beings, I guess. These are the zombies with maxed out stealth scores. All right, 1,000 feet left. There is an upgrade just lingering. I want that upgrade. And it is, what is it gonna be? Ammo, okay. Only 700 feet till the next car. Again though, if it's not as good as Sharon, I just don't care. And there it is, traction. Traction the violence mobile, I love it. Looked really tiny though, it'd be like driving a Snickers bar. New record, 7,500 feet. Double ghillie suit zombies. Hanging from the passenger side window, I love it. Not enough weight to break some obstacles. I don't like it. I'd rather have this one. Oh, I still got the double bonus? Yeah, go ahead and throw the banana flavored gun on there. That's fantastic. Let me ask you something. You boys like potassium? <laughs> uh, all right, it's not, not too bad so far. I mean, it's got tank treads on it, which is awesome. The boost is pretty nuts. Yep, not as good as Sharon, though. Get stuck on rocks. Look at it. The good part is you can go back to the old maps and, like, you know, get your couple of thousand feet and unlock stuff super easy. All right, over to industrial. Going back to my first love. Just because we want to unlock this vehicle, we've got to go like 8,000 feet to get it. And we both know the only vehicle that can probably do it 100% of the time is Sharon. Give to me your tired, your hungry, your upgrades, your ammo, I guess. And right, what's the new upgraded, like more impressive zombie that's on this board? Oh, it's like, uh, it's like uh, very safe zombies. They're wearing the yellow safety vests. They're like, maybe Gray won't hit us if he can see us better. No, I'm just a psychopath. You're still going to get murdered. A lot of jumps on this board. I've taken like bar barely any damage and we're getting tons of great unlocks. 4,000 feet to go to open up the next car. No big deal. So you probably never would have guessed this, but the best vehicle on this track is the potato mobile. And it's not close. Collecting all of the map pieces. In case you're wondering, we have Oblivion now. <laughs> I'm not sure if the graphics are the same as, you know, 2000's Oblivion, but I guess we'll find out. All right, Oblivion, don't let me down. In case you're ever like, well, what does Oblivion do well? Pretty much everything. Guns, armor, cheese grater on the front. Beautiful aerobatics. Crazy boo! Woo! Full back flip. Into front flip. Yeah, stack up the map pieces. Just throw them at me. This map is just called Ruins. Because all of the other maps were obviously so much nicer. I love how the zombies have gotten married. 
There are literal groom and bride zombies, I'm pretty sure. Now I'm starting to feel bad. This is almost certainly my fault. This world was clearly better without the humans. Also, Oblivion is pulling insane work. We're gonna end up unlocking the last car, which looks like a military vehicle infused with a metric ton of steroids. Like, we're at a point where I'm not even taking any damage. That's right, just like Florida, we're bringing the hurricanes to everyone. Everyone gets to enjoy the hurricanes. I'm actually kind of surprised that there's not a vehicle named Hurricane. Yep, 5,000 feet like it ain't no problem. The time has come. I wanted to know. And so now we have Impact. Will I leave Sharon for Impact? Because pretty much every other vehicle is lesser than Sharon right now. I use Oblivion, but it's only because I put so much money into it. <laughs> okay, those are big spikes. Yeah, basically what this thing is good at is blowing up zombies and also making hamburgers. All right. Fully upgraded, extra power. We have everything now. How stupid is this thing? <laughs> well, using using the boost sounds like a small like a small hydrogen bomb going off. No, Sorry. Suspension's fantastic. Oh, it's like a slightly bigger version of Sharon. Oh, I might be in love with this thing. Okay. Uh, impact is indeed insane. Impact sounds a lot like my school bus. I don't mean like the name, I just mean the engine. Possible those were not zombie brides and grooms, but it's a lot funnier if they are. And it look like zombies that have replaced their hands with saw blades, and then like Mary Poppins zombies. Crazy boost! Oh my god! Wow, I got like an extra, I don't know, thousand feet from that crazy boost. We're gonna have enough map pieces to open up the last board. And then we get to see what stupidity the zombies are gonna do to continue to survive. Last time they got on like my shipping container, they've they stowed away on airplanes. We're running out of different vehicles for them to pirate. What's left, like a helicopter, I guess? There's a crazy boost again. I, I, guess, I guess if I was gonna get a boost, it might as well be this one. Oh my God, full flip, we're fine. Everything's okay. I haven't even seen the Harvard graduate zombie that's piloting the vehicle that's behind us. We're past 6,000 feet now in this thing. Don't mind me, everyone. Gray still redecorates, coming through. 7,000 feet. Yeah, I know, I got a lot of map pieces. I, I know, I know. Can I fast forward through this? No, you have to watch it every time. We have now unlocked the final board. Ski fields. So like how far do I have to get? Oh, we got Yeti zombies. That's nice. Got uh, like hospitality zombies. We of course have skiing zombies. We have sliding zombies. No joke, the ski resort area looks fantastic. All the houses in the background look kind of legit. Don't mind me. Just bringing hurricanes to Colorado. Come here, upgrade, I love you. Yum, 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 yum. Crazy Boost is definitely my favorite, followed closely by Nitro because, you know, it's Nitro. I'm mostly I'm impressed that this many zombies learned how to ski. Oh, there's like a, uh, there's like a Canadian zombie. Repair, oh, that's good. Don't really take a ton of damage, but I do like being repaired. I have gone across the entire country, annihilating any semblance of zombie civilization. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm trying to get to. It's true, there is no ending. The only thing that happens is you just murder more and more zombies forever. The concept is incredibly easy. You start as a sad dinosaur with sad lasers on it. However, over time, you achieve new items. And just like any game with upgrades, things get so ridiculously stupid. And thus, we must find out just how stupid things can go. And thus, as we destroy the last few cybernetic mushrooms, I don't know why these are the things we're attacking right now. And now I have a slightly better knee brace. <laughs> and a slightly better cannon. I'm not gonna lie, the new beam is pretty amazing. Wacha! If there's one thing that a T-Rex never skips, it is leg day. That's like 90% of their whole body. The other 10% is their head. Out of the way, bargain bin Koopa Trooper. Oh, now I'm fighting, like, bionic tentacles. That's odd. All right, so this is the last one here. I have to make sure to save all of my most powerful abilities for the tentacle monsters. 
that of course plagued the Jurassic period. Everyone knows that. Let me see what I can unlock here. Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, I've got Minecraft diamonds over my eyes. Okay, so the gun is about to get a hundred times more legit. Okay, well that's pretty OP. Oh, a box! I finally got one! I finally get to see exactly what sort of glorious things the boxes hold inside of them. Headbutt! All right, what's in the box? See, before I hasn't got boxes, but I do now. All right, the box is actually opening itself. Oh, the box just vomited up a ton of loot. All right, next eye patch. Oh, now it's an actual, like, nose blade. <laughs> Behold the- Oh, wow, I'm actually shooting rockets. Maybe I will eventually get that ta the tactical nuke I always wanted. <laughs> when in doubt, headbutt everything in the way. I love how we're dealing with yellow jacketosaurs at this point. We actually had those up in Jersey. Like flesh eating yellow jackets. These yellow jackets also appear to have terrible eyesight. I don't really know if it's their eyesight that's bad or if it's just supposed to be like cool mad scientist goggles they're wearing. Maybe it's a fashion thing. I kind of feel like my T Rex is limping. He could also just be tripping over the fact that he's wearing like bionic boxers at this point. There's so many things for me to combine here. <laughs> there we go. Okay, can I actually get. Okay, so we're, we're on gold there, but I wonder if I can get... I got close. Almost I can get to the next level of the gun. And we get a new ability. All right, whatever this thing is, I'm about to find out. Here we go. <gasps> okay, it's pretty incredible. <laughs> I love how my mechasaur basically turned into scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Get over here! The only thing is, I noticed I'm not shooting, like, small nuclear warheads anymore. Now it's just... Gigantic bullets. Really, really big bullets. Scorpion was always one of my favorite Mortal Kombat characters, so this totally makes sense. Warning. This is like a boss fight? What is this? Warning what? Oh, it is! It's actually called boss. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, uh. In fact, just use everything. Use everything as fast as you can. It's just a giant worm and it's not doing anything. Never mind! It is shooting actual missiles at me! <laughs> Alright. Just gotta use our abilities as fast as possible here. Come on, Scorpion, don't let me down. Wow. That was, uh, that was actually a lot closer than I really wanted it to be. Alright, fantastic. I get to melt that thing down and use it as an ankle brace. Huh. Depressed metal bass. Interesting. Oh, it's kind of like, oh, what is this? I get another new ability that this thing does. It looks like a drunken lightning bolt. It's absolutely a drunken lightning bolt. Drunken lightning. Go! By the power of loot. Uh-huh. Oh, we're moving into all diamond territory. I like it. I like violent lasers too, so I'm gonna keep moving this up. Remember, kids, never- What is that? <laughs> never drink and electrocute the people around you. I love that I'm fighting Skynet, but in the shape of scorpions at this point. I think what's interesting is I've, I'm pretty much the only living creature I've seen this whole time. So like, was I the only one that made it? Like, the meteorite hit, and now the only things that are around are me and a bunch of violent robots. Now the scorpions shoot laser beams from their tails. That's unfortunate. Uh, okay. Before it was all, you know, like, whatever, little animals and bats and stuff like that. What is this? <laughs> it's like a derpy bear. Out of the way there, cyber yogi. There it is again. It just kind of, like, yeets you. The time to bling out my dinosaur has come. What I really want is a better weapon. I'm hoping I can upgrade this weapon. Out of the way, I'm half diamond, half amethyst, and all anger. I think the thing that I like the most is how my character is like totally animated except for the giant gun attached to his thigh. Don't you yeet me! It is not you that yeets me. It is I that yeets you. I can't really yeet anything because my arms are really small. Use all of the abilities! All of them! Oh, we're going up double. <laughs> oh, God! 
Yes, I don't know what this is, but it looks awesome. I'm just gonna put all my points into this because it looks like a giant flaming ball of death. Death ball, go. Oh, it is a flamethrower. Flamethrower, go. Not gonna lie, got a flamethrower for Christmas. Uh, not at all disappointed. I feel weird because I'm killing flamethrower guys also with flame. I just realized too, who's paying for all of this? Like I go through a lot of rounds of ammo. All right, nose bling. We're going up to the next level. Oh no, I have top and bottom jaw nose bling. All right, I've got my scorpion ability back and I have whatever this is. Whatever it is, I'm gonna buy a bunch of it. I have four abilities now. All right, four. Oh my God. All right, so now I'm pooping out explosive canisters, lovely. But they have very, very short range, so I need to do it like now. <gasps> I am the reason the rest of the dinosaurs went extinct. Burn it all! That's you! <laughs> now that right there is violent allergies. It's kind of amazing when I can get through one of these stages with like a hundred hit points taken away and that's it. All right, where's your boss at? What is it this time? Is it like a bionic turtle or something? Oh, he's something completely random that I never would have thought of. Oh, it's, it's, it's literally like a mech from, uh, <laughs> from Robocop. He's wearing a little crown on his head too. I love it. And he has got a lot of beamy lasers. All right, but we're doing a ton of damage, so it's fine. I'll never get my canisters going again because he'll be dead by then. Yeah. There you go, your crown didn't help you. Probably because they only gave him one eye. See, he's got one eye, I get two. All right, it's getting colder, man. Oh my God, it's like bionic penguins. <laughs> Why? No, I love penguins, I feel so bad. Unfortunately, you penguins have been swayed by evil. <laughs> Why are the canisters? Oh, they, they're like penguins with shotguns. This is what happens when penguins finally have enough. They're fighting back. Okay, I don't know what that is. That is not a penguin though. God, it's got a buzzsaw on it. Oh, it's an actual snowman. <laughs> it's like a violent snowman. It's a violent homicidal snowman, why? <laughs> Luckily though, the canisters work really good against them. Well, great. Now I'm fighting, I don't know. It looks like a frog or maybe a raptor or something. They strapped a can into its back. Kind of like a slightly more angry gecko. Canisters still work great against it though. The amount of points that they're starting to throw at me is kind of amazing. Yeah, I'll upgrade this and this. All right, I've got to do these upgrades and then get out of here as soon as possible. I'm a Floridian dinosaur. This climate is killing me, man. 10. Oh yeah, the weapon's going up to the next level too. Oh, I'm going to fire paper airplanes at people. Wonderful. All right, no idea what this number four does. I guess I'll find out in a second. Here we go. Oh, it is. It's angry paper airplanes. It's amazing. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I'm like Goku, only way more immature, which actually is saying something considering it's Goku. Okay, so I have to wait until I stack up just a ton of creatures in order to release the paper airplanes. Okay, like this is pretty good. Yeah. Okay, getting close. Probably now. Yep, that was pretty good. All right, level 10 on the nose. Bring this up and the planes up. It's like a derpy too. Oh my God, it's got flames coming out of its stomach. Okay, the flamey groundhogs do a lot of damage, so we're gonna do this. Don't you do it. Ow. Nine, 10, yes. I'm starting to lose my humanity or my dino. Whatever makes me a dinosaur. Like legit, there's not much left to me, man. Oh, everything's getting upgraded here. I've been waiting to get this gun all jacked out too. Is that an orbital beam? <laughs> How can I not buy all the orbital beams? All right, now it's not super high level. Okay, so I don't know how good it is. Let's 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 find out what our little droid here does. All right, that's kind of cool. And the orbital beam, uh, I don't know. I don't really know what it's doing. It kind of looked like maybe it was doing some damage. Oh yeah, it definitely melts people. Oh, here we go. This should be good. Orbital beam, go! Okay, I have upgraded my drone and my orbital beam a lot. 
And now it does a lot of damage. Go my drone. It basically like single-handedly does everything for me. <laughs> okay, weapons going up. Now it's, it literally is a nuke. I love how it's just the, the, the bullets just get bigger. Well, don't know what it is, want all of it. Please tell me it's a nuke. I'm waiting for it. All right, go ahead. <laughs> oh my God. That's <laughs> everything I hoped it would be. All right, so I basically can only use it right now like once per stage. So I kind of have to, like right now. That was the right time. All right, new boss. I only get to use my nuke once though, so I feel pretty bad about this. I would like to use it more times than the hit to Bionic Gorilla. Okay, sure. Go, my nuke! Where's my nuke at? There it is, it just took a while. Ow. He has the Yeezy Kick, see? Actually, he doesn't really do very much damage. Like, he doesn't really do any damage. It's basically just more humiliating getting kicked away than anything else. And there you go. Give me your sweet gauntlets. That nuke was in its weakest stage. It was like a noob nuke. Don't know what those are. Don't know if I should be concerned or not. Ah, you should absolutely be concerned. Drop it. Fortunately, the bomb seems to hit everything on the entire screen. I use my headbutt now to move like more of the creatures on the screen so I can just hit more of them with the gigantic uh, What? Uh, oh, it's really not that bad. I mean, it's bad, but it, it could be worse. I'm not gonna lie, in numbers, these things are actually a little bit dangerous. Not too dangerous, though. Actually, even scarier than that, level 13 on the thighs. Okay, so now we have the canisters and we have the chain. So the chain has to get cranked way up. I kind of liked the gigantic, I don't know what to call it. It was just like a, it was basically just a, a big, bomb that fell from the sky, but I kind of liked it. My dinosaur has more cardio than any other creature that has ever walked the face of this entire planet. Fire the canisters! Uh, what is this derpy being? <laughs> uh. Oh wow, he's really tough. Like he's really tough. I mean, he can be killed, but He's got way more hit points than anything else I've fought so far. It actually took me so long to fight him that I, I managed to use the, the barrel toss twice. Okay, there he is. I'm gonna use this right away just to get him out of there. I feel like I'm running out of people to murder. I've, I've killed the entire planet so far. There's nothing left. You can see in the background, it's, it's all just broken, apocalyptic wasteland. Oh, this is gonna be good. Okay, everyone's lined up, here we go. Nice. The time has come to open the final level 20 box. Now I can finally max out my weapon. I've been waiting for this. Please give me the giant bomb again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's an orbital cannon again. Okay, I guess the cannon is acceptable. Blinged out. Nothing can withstand the sheer power of this hideous prehistoric creature. Go! Barely any damage, just walking through the levels. Well, I guess I'm jogging through the levels, technically. So yeah, start using this one right now. Here we go. And then, yeah, why not? Put, put, the, put the cannon in there, might as well. Headbutt everything in the way. All right, this is it. Stage 25, final boss. There's the warning, and what is it? Tell me it's a guy at a computer desk. He's shooting a gun at me. Oh my God, it's like a giant brain squid. <laughs> it's a giant brain squid. <laughs> it's shooting rockets at me. Oh, it's rockets do like absolutely nothing. Like it's, the rockets are barely tickling me. This is hilarious. Get hit by the rocket, fly back a little bit, head bottom. All right, call in the drone. I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to do everything by myself. Getting all of his brain sweat all over me. Very juicy. Just taking a little off the top with the orbital cannon there. And the drone will be the one to finish it with me. And at this point now, 
He can broadcast the end of days because he had a satellite dish on his head. The golden egg. I have murdered an entire solar system for this egg. What is inside? It's a tiny me. Awesome Pirates is a game where people come up to your tower that seems to be made out of vanilla wafers and want to take it over for some reason. And your job is to hit them directly in the skull as many times as possible. Now, normally you might say to yourself, well, great, why don't you go for a weapon that does the most damage? The point of this game is not to do damage. The point of this game is to give people violent concussions like that because you get extra money. Since the more money you get, the more you can upgrade your stuff to stupid levels, we're obviously going to get the most upgraded stuff there is and only go for headshots. Where's your skull at? What's that? Right about here? Okay, just barely. I will gladly take additional damage to only hit a man in the skull. I wish I could say I'm sorry, but I'm not. 100 plus the 50 plus another 100. So some of the things that you could buy in this 30% off kill all your neighbors sale are things like shotguns or cannons or small suns that you can shoot out of a cannon. None of these matter though. There's only one that matters this thing. Whenever your cannonball has a face on it, that's when you know it's legit. I'm just gonna shoot this in the air and hope I'm somewhere close to- Well, there you go! That's what happens when you headshot people. I love that I took a guess and almost like he was wearing headshot cologne. The cannonball nailed him right in the skull. We have to go a lot lower for this one. Probably right about here. Oh, that was too low. I find it particularly- what was that? <laughs> First off, how did he miss the shot when our tower is like a hundred feet tall? And how did they stick a weed whacker engine on the back of it? Sounds like, was this like a, a wave runner made out of wood? <laughs> like a graham cracker wave runner. Amazing. Ugh! Double tap. <laughs> head skipping. There's a head skipping combo. <laughs> Ow. I don't know why I decided to make this castle out of like sand like there's really not that much to it Oh, I destroyed the cannon. I mean, that's great, but also not what I was trying to do You get paid money to destroy the cannon. Wait a second. What I, I didn't get to see it What's worth more a human life or the cannon? Please tell me how is it that this guy cannot hit the tower? Please tell me that a human life is worth less than the cannon. Hold on. Let, let me see if I can head skip real quick Ugh. Yeah, there it is, the double headshot again. Now, the only problem is I was born to give people brain damage. That's what I've been doing on YouTube for the past seven years. So I can't really guarantee that I can hit the cannon. So, I mean, I, I can try. Let's try like right here. Nope, see that went straight for both of the heads. I just, I can't stop myself. The colors, trauma. Ooh, I almost hit, I almost headshot that fish. Don't you do it. I hate you. Still want to kind of hit the gun. No, nope. headshot again. Should have known. Now, luckily, his alcohol broke his fall, but unluckily, he then drowned. All right, let's see what we can get here. Now, as I say, the more shots, the better, and this gives you two of them. What does it take to upgrade the graham crackers? I love how you pay a thousand coins, and the only thing that you get is this thing looking like you take less care of it. Like, right, it's the same tower. I just haven't polished it. Welcome to level three. There's the sun, or in Florida, as we like to call it, literal cancer. All right, chain shot. You know what to do. Fail horribly. Oh, I killed the anchor. That's interesting. Big upward trajectory. That's the head shot and all of the bell and then back on the head. I love how he's like, did I just faint? Well, yes, you did in fact go unconscious for a short period of time. I wish I could say I'm sorry, but after you hit my fort, I'm not. Okay, let's, uh, oh, well, <laughs> I love that it shows you where both of the shots of the chain shot go. That's right, the cannon, too, and I do want to hurt the cannon. Okay, so the cannon is worth 50 coins. I think that means that the cannon is the exact same amount of money as a head. I love that about this game. Let's skip some heads. Nope. I think I hit him in the knee. He's like, you'll pay, not in, not in vengeance, because, like, now he's going to sue me. This is gonna be like a two on one now. I love how they put all these extra cannons on the boat and they literally do absolutely nothing. Fire in the hole! And he almost fell into the boat behind him, and that probably would have saved his life. Kind of want to skip it off the guy in the barrel. Like, maybe right about here or so. 
Uh, well, it was definitely a headshot. I almost got the secondary headshot too. I'm not gonna lie, their boats look like you could get a lot of tetanus from them. Like, notice right over here, rusty nails sticking straight out of whatever this is. I don't know what they tried to make back here. Like half a porta potty or something. All right, train shot. Double skip off the head. Well, one skip off the head and off the other head. I'm hitting every head. So now because they don't have anyone to drive, does that matter or not really? <laughs> ah! Skipped it a little too far. That guy just blew up my cannon. I'm gonna make his life just absolute torture now. Originally, I was just going to break your skull open, but not anymore. Now I just want you to fall to your death. Hold on. Like this. There we go, got him. <laughs> that pirate ship was worth a lot of money too. We're gonna be upgrading to the, the violent, like smiling evil cannons very, very quickly. I still haven't increased my fort yet at all. Like, do I even need to upgrade the, the durability? Can I just put all of my money straight into firepower? Go for it. Nice. I'm not gonna lie, that dude got some like legitimate distance. I might be able to hit the guy in the back from here. Like no joke, watch. Ah, oh, went a little bit over. I wanted to see if I can knock him off. You don't have to worry about hit points when everyone just drowns to death. Ah, yes, good old sun showers in Florida, where it rains just long enough to annoy the sun. All right, I was originally going for style points, but now I have to just murder you. Well, or your cannon. I'm trying desperately to prolong the guy's agony. I have to take care of this dude in the front first anyway. Also, I have to mention too, can you guys get your brakes fixed? I don't know, I don't really know why. There's like brake sounds on a boat, <laughs> but whatever, <laughs> yes, but whatever. You're the last one. Let me take out your cannon. Oh no, there's like a tiny little bit of cannon left. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. No. I wish that the ball could like ricochet off my fort and then kill the guy. Anyway. <laughs> they get closer each time too until they're basically in your front lawn. I am making this last forever because the uh, just the cannon keeps dying so I get to keep hitting him over and over again and like increasing the amount of money I get. All right, all right, we'll finish this. Had to get the cannon too for the extra 50 though. I don't know if this matters at all, but I'm upgrading this all the way. <laughs> I love that my fort looks like trash and I have a transformer bionic gun coming out of it. They can tell I've spent no money trying to upkeep this place. I don't know if the fact that I put more money into this means anything. Well, I guess it doesn't mean anything if I can't aim. How about this time? There we go. Oh, they've upgraded their cannons. I literally just bought that. I'm so annoyed right now. We're going for headshots again. One, two, there we go. Double headshot, 200 coins, head skipping. I want that double headshot, double headshot. Oh, 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 we got all three. I may have hit the same guy's head twice. You gotta shoot a little bit lower here, I think. One, two. <laughs> Look at all the money that's stacked up, I love it. This guy is intentionally going for that cannon and it's starting to annoy me. Oh, they're calling for backup. All right, maybe you do have to increase the durability of the tower. I mean, we're gonna eventually upgrade everything all the way anyway. Fire! Oop. <laughs> Roll off! Come on, come on, stumble off! No! <laughs> I thought he was gonna dance his way right off the boat. How is he staying off? <laughs> Plot twist, the guy manning the cannon is actually blind. Yeah, this looks good. Got him. There. Oh man, he's still there. Well, we probably can't take another shot. This guy is drinking the protein over here. Can't get rid of him. All right, I think you know what time it is. All right, give me the next one. Hey guys, I guess my camouflage didn't work, huh? Good to know. I cannot believe I just did that. That is legit incredible. From the top rope. I managed to do a grand total of absolutely no damage to anyone here. Gotta destroy the cannon as well. There we go. The best turn is the one that you don't get. <laughs> don't ask me how, but I'm pretty sure that that guy got completely murdered in one hit. Off the head, off the second head. Oh, I almost got the third head. Some people see skulls. I see bullseyes. Or I guess money. I also see money. I want money! Ugh. So this one's a little hard because I have to go way down 
to hope to hit this guy. And I got him in the sh- count as a headshot! It was more in the shoulder, I would say. But thanks for giving it to me, game. At this point, the game's like- He aims for the head so much, just give it to him. I do appreciate a game that knows exactly what I want. I wish I could say I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm not. Did that guy make it out all right? Oh, he's still alive! Finish him! Ugh. All right, it's 1v1, except I have a lot more. All right, never mind. Apparently, it's just an infinite line of people who want to get brain trauma. Again, try and go for the cannon. <laughs> I would say try and go for the cannon, but instead, I just made this guy use my cannonball as a, as like a pillow. Uh, maybe I can hit the cannon from here? Nope. I still have a little over a third of health left. Long as you guys don't hit the cannons, I'll be fine. Also, you could just shoot it into the water. That's great, too. Now, luckily, his Achilles tendons broke his fall. They don't exist anymore, but for that moment, they did their job. Well, this guy's back. He finally, his DUI got expunged or something. Now, if I can really do this well, I'll be able to skip off this guy. There we go. And then hit everyone else. I love it. Like a professional stone thrower, but instead of stones. <laughs> Skipping off of the water. I'm skipping cannonballs off of skulls. Get ready Because we have the money for true stupidity. Actually, how much can I get back for this? You know what? Give me two of them. Now you may say to yourself, great. Will these cannons do much better than the last set? <laughs> yeah, it is. I love that the cannonballs lose teeth as well. That's like my favorite. <laughs> oh my god See what happens? They're so afraid they can't even hit us. The big thing to remember is that more cannons mean more headshots. Whoa, what in the? I have no clue what my cannonballs just did. That was amazing though. These things have minds of their own. I love it. Headshots, lots of them. So we don't want this guy to get a shot back at us. So, uh, sorry man, but you're getting all three of them here. At least you'll have friends to drown with. No joke, I can't wait to upgrade these as far as they'll go. I feel especially bad for this guy. I guess drinking while you're getting smashed by like rabid cannonballs is good. <laughs> oh God. Second time's the charm. <laughs> totally off. I love that just standing, he gets hit again by the, by the cannonball. So, this is a pretty one-sided beatdown. We're gonna have enough money for another one of these two. I'm gonna try and hit the cannon as well. Well, I did get the cannon, I just didn't break it all the way. Now this thing's like a hood ornament. Well, good sir, guess what? Skull fractures, 50% off. Let me get rid of the cannon, and then we'll go right about here. Ah, I really want all three to hit just one guy. Like this, there it is! Uh, yeah, go ahead and give me another one. Do the pirate boats get bigger? They do. Well, technically, they just stuff more people up in the sails. Just additional head targets. I love the insane sounds that the cannonballs make. Yes! Had to get that extra headshot in. I'm pretty sure that was three completely separate headshots. It's still showing headshot up here. All right, where, where's the most amount of heads at? Probably like, probably like here, maybe? Oh, yeah, there, oh my god, did you see the multiplication of money? All right, so now let's try, like, up here. Perfect. The power of violence! <laughs> I didn't know that one guy could fall on the other guy, so I, I headshot a man with another man. No joke, you guys better call for backup, like, really soon. All right, we should be getting another pirate ship here in a minute. There we go. Going low. Now, if I'm a good enough shot, I can actually blast this guy onto their boat. That's my true goal right now. Ah, oh, so close. All right, so first shot, I want to take out the cannon. Now we can just go for everyone else at our leisure. The fact that I've already gotten like an extra 3,000 coins from this. Oh yeah, always go for the cannon. That's like the best. Maybe like here or so? Got it. Plus you can split out the balls and still hurt everyone else. I'm feeling 
A headshot coming! That treasure is ours. There's no treasure here, just agony. And I guess surgery. It all rhymes with, like, why. <laughs> all right, that finishes that up. We're now gonna be over 4,000 coins. So where's the cannon at? Probably like right about here, maybe? All right, and the other shot maybe here. There it is, perfect. And you get a headshot, and you get a headshot. I own the dollar store of headshots. <laughs> Discount headshots. I love how it says their turn, but really all they do is get to come closer and watch as they get short-term memory <laughs> loss. Let's go for the skip. Yes! When you can get all three balls to hit one guy, it is truly magical. I don't even need to go for the cannon because they're not gonna survive this. Oh, and we get backup, so now there's another boat. So we're fighting like four boats now. They still haven't really done anything to the tower. Go for it! Perfect! And all the way onto the next boat! All right, there's one dude left. Again, I have to try and skip off them. There we go, so I can get everyone else as well. All right, now can I hit their cannon? This is really far away. I don't know. Maybe like here or so? I did get the cannon and I managed to murder the guy that decided to stand in the back of the boat. Uh, well, it messed up his aim. Uh, this looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit higher. Probably like right about here, I would say. Got it. V is for violence. <laughs> All right, where's the, there's always a last guy in like a tiny raft. There he is. Man, I am so sorry. You should have got here like eight turns ago, bro. I don't even know if I need to hit his cannon. I mean, I will apparently anyway. Mostly by accident, though. This one's already lined up. Oh! And now, for the final shot. Go, my son. And finish things off. Well, we, uh, we just scored almost 6,500 coins from that. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Can anyone give me a challenge? Can anyone make me have to upgrade to the next? Uh, this seems unreasonably unsafe. Oh wow, it bobs up and down too. Uh, I kind of went, wanted to go to the highest point so I can shoot. Okay, all right, I see how this is pretty difficult. So, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it now. The game just glitched out or something and like made me miss all of my shots there. Oh wow, okay, this is not easy because if you hit the balloon anywhere, it doesn't do any damage to the balloon. I mean, don't get me wrong, this, this dude is still dead. Like, a lot. Again. Ah, go, 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 go. There we are. Why, I wanted to somehow get a headshot on this guy because he's protected from the sky gods. So I can't do a headshot from the sky. I have to like bank it off of his own balloon. Okay, these guys came in quick. So this, this stage might actually be sort of difficult. Jake. Oh, I think that he just hit himself with my cannonball. Like, I didn't do the damage there. He did, technically. That wasn't my fault. It's his. I need to get this guy out of the way so I can hit this boat. Please die. Just fall to the sea. I can't believe how much damage this dude can take. He's literally on my doormat. Get out of the way. Only 400 coins for a balloon. All right. Can I hit the cannon? Survey says yes. Need another shot on the cannon though. Cannon's still alive. I feel like keeping your gun right next to your groin is a terrible idea. All right, I might actually have to upgrade the, the, <laughs> wow, the tower. Problem is they keep hitting the cannons. Like I can take their cannons out as well. Actually, I don't know if I could do it on this one because it's so low. This is a significant threat. So, we're just gonna try and get as much money as we can. Sad. All right, money bags. I need you all to do the headshot thing so I could buy the next level of the tower. We're gonna need it. Skyward! Ooh! Had to get that last one in. Maximum cranial value! Uh... That dude just stumbled and died. I didn't even hit him. He just got too close and died randomly. 
I just killed three guys in one shot. It's a three fire. All right, we're upgrading all the way. Take my money. Also, I do want to try something else. I kind of want whatever this is and then to upgrade it almost all, well, all the way once I get enough money. So my question is how well does this thing work? Okay, so I get to choose when it blows up. Do I get an extra damage out of it when I hit someone in the head and then blow it up after the head hit? I don't know, let's give it a shot. <laughs> you absolutely can detonate it after it bounces off of a skull. That makes me unreasonably happy. Sorry, man. I hate to say this, he did not survive. All right, so what you want to do is round everyone up in like one area, then fire, hit, Hey, wait for it. What? <laughs> I just made a man RKO another man and it was glorious. I don't know if their boat is going to survive this volley of shots. I don't even know if I need to go for the cannon because I might just finish them all off here. Look at it. There's one guy left. All right, so let's try right about here. Boop, boom. <laughs> I don't know how we survived. He's got like second degree burns over most of his body. <laughs> oh, not the explosive cannon. How can you do this to me? Die. So this is kind of bad for them because the real value is them getting to shoot at me more than once per turn, but I'm murdering their boats before the extra boat can come in and help at all. Uh, yeah, whatever, this, this looks good. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yep, it was every bit as fine as I had thought. All right, now that everyone's sort of lined up, I would like to get this guy lined up as well. I don't know if I can shoot this high enough. Never mind, can totally shoot this high enough. All four are in a giant cluster. All right, now where where does this need to go? Like right about, I don't know, here or so? Ah! Oh, I want it right in the middle. I wish I could choose to use this gun first because I have a feeling that this one's just going to kill everyone. Well, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Let me, uh, let me see if I can. <laughs> I wanted to see if I could just get rid of this guy in the back. Come on, skip it. Yeah. I feel like this is too small of a boat to bring to this kind of gunfight. I say it's a gunfight. There's no bullets involved. It's all just whatever those things are. Dude over there is tasting the rainbow. Yes! The slightest tap and over he goes. I don't know if I can kill this guy with one explosive round though. I'm really not sure. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I am 100% upgrading that thing. I might get three of those and upgrade them. Just three portable suns I can shoot. Sure. Oh. Oh, and he drowns. He doesn't just get headshot. He can, it's one of the little wave runners. What do you think the chances are of him getting a, getting a turn? The answer is zero. First things first, that's going up all the way. We're selling this, we're buying this, we're bringing it all the way up. Do I have the money to do it for this one? I don't think I do. I kind of want to keep this one anyway. I think I just love the maniacal screaming. I'm not one of these things again. From the top rope. There goes the bell! Explosive round! No, need to shoot that a lot higher. There we go. No joke, it's like that that one extra level made those explosive rounds twice as powerful. Like, look at this. I don't like taking damage. I just painted this thing with a brand new coat of Rust-Oleum. Rust-Oleum! I love that there are so many heads here. So many heads. I want to take that cannon out. That looks right about where it needs to be. Look at the distance you get on the explosions now. Wow. I'm definitely glad I kept one of these screaming psychopath balls. All right, let's try and skip off a head, then skip off a, well, I guess that's good too. This thing is perfect for blowing up cannons. There we go. Big distance. Now, fortunately, his spinal column broke his fall. I just... <laughs> the distance is glorious. All right, they got a second boat in, unfortunately, so I need to see if I can finish this front one off, like, really quick. I'm not going for the cannon. I've got to go for the guys. Take it. 
Yes, just fall off. All right, he's the only one left. So let's go ahead and bounce, blow him up. Now I don't know if I would be able to, <laughs> I was gonna say to hit the cannon. I did, just not enough damage, but it's a good start. Cannon, got it. Well, sort of, it wasn't like fully enough damage, but I could follow it up with a second shot pretty easy. The question is, can I kill three pirates in one shot? I've done it before. Uh, let's go really high, split it. Well, skip, nice, yes, all the way over. Nice, blast him off. Hit almost every single pirate in this area. But now go for like the knees. I would appreciate it if you shot over my tower. You did not shoot over the tower. Can you please shoot over the tower? You also did not shoot over the tower. That makes me very unhappy. This this one this one cannonball rode this dude like a sled all the way down the pirate ship. All right, now if I can if I can do this like literally perfectly. All right, ready? Off the head. Blow. <laughs> I don't know how he survived. He's got like one hit point left. They both do. So I'd have to take out like pretty much everyone in one shot. So I'd rather just not have a cannon here. And then I can blow this guy right off his boat. Like so. Well, all right. Or I could just hit him in the knees and kill him. I love how their sails are not held up by any physics at all. Another pirate ship. How many do you have to kill? Oh, wow. Those... The angry balls flew a lot further than I thought they would. We're gonna have to arc this one a lot. Okay, we have to arc this one even more. Well, one down. Almost went over the tower. One shot. Two shot. <laughs> That's it. All right, who's next? Come on, bring him up. One guy on a raft. Let me handle this. I don't think he's gonna handle it, man. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but uh... <laughs> one shot. Is there no one else? There is. Is that a submarine? <laughs> what? All right, I mean, I, gotta, I guess I gotta take out the gun first. Shouldn't be that hard. They're, bit, they're already kind of like lined up like that. And plus this guy's gonna murder this guy. Oh, they got... There was a third dude chilling out. Uh, all right, well, the shot is already going inside of his mouth, like so. So I get to double tap him all the time. Oh, you know what I can do? Roll it off of his skull, then down this. All right, hold on, where are we lined up at? Let me see if I can take out the gun immediately. Almost, and I got a headshot out of the deal. What I wanna do is bounce it off him, have the explosive shot roll down, and then blow up the cannon. So, off his neck, roll on down, explode. Yes, this is gonna work perfectly. Legit, he'll never get to do anything. Oh no! My 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 desire for headshots went too far. No, I took damage. I mean, that's probably the only damage we're gonna take. All right, aim for the neck. Perfect. Double tap and then the explosion. Oh, it's so good. Aim for the neck, double tap, explosion. Yeah, come a little bit closer. My aim isn't great. Try and take the cannon out in one shot. There it goes. Throat shot. Ugh. Any man who can take this many explosions right in the jaw is pretty legit. Never mind. Oh, this is the last one. He couldn't take it. That is the last pirate. There is literally no one left in the planet that doesn't have brain damage. And so we win. In Free Fred, you have to go and save your poorly drawn fish, shark, dolphin friend. I don't really know what he is. He's been captured and he's gonna be forced to perform at SeaWorld or something. So like any rational human being, you get inside of your violently overpowered tugboat and you literally kill everyone that's not your friend while they fire heat-seeking missiles at you. That better not touch me, that just touched me. It touched me very violently, as a matter of fact. Also, how come everyone on a jet ski has something that is not allowed by the Coast Guard on them? I'm pretty sure one dude had an Uzi, another guy had like a propane tank strapped to his back. Both of those things are completely outside of code, I will have you know. Shouldn't have either of those. I have to kill this thing before it starts shooting its chain gun at me. I don't even know what this is. 
It's not a boat. Okay. Oh, now there's Chinooks in the sky. Probably going to drop bombs on me. How over... Is that a duck? What is it, like an explosive duck? Can I eat it? What happens if I hit it? Oh, it blows up, just like everything else. How come nothing in this game is here to help me? Oh, I went 16% of my total distance. As you can imagine, the entire point of making money in this world is so that you can kill people better. Also, real quick, how come all of the upgrades make the vehicle look more and more improbable that it could float? Like, all they did was just strap a bunch of extra cannons to the chassis. And the chassis is not very floatable. It's like a bathtub. The bathtub for someone very short and round. It's Danny DeVito's bathtub. No joke, I'm still trying to figure out what that is on that guy's chest. I'm almost sure it's an explosive. I don't know what kind of steroids they've been pumping into these gut, like the bullets but the bullets are doing a ton more damage now. Don't you do it. <laughs> I love how the only thing inside of all the boats is like a couple of bolts and some screws. We might actually get past the first lighthouse like right away. I'm really glad that the bullets have absolutely no physics at all. There's no bullet drop, but by the same token, it kind of feels like I'm shooting hot pockets at people. That's the first time I killed a duck. I feel kind of bad about it. I have no idea what that is, but it looks explodable. Fire the cannon! It probably has nothing to do with anything. This probably isn't even a combatant. It was probably just a bunch of guys working on a shipping container. All right, we're almost fully upgraded on whatever this is. Taste my violent Mars bars. That's right, I'm here to give everyone diabetes. I'm the Wilford Brimley of the seas. I love how the helicopters get close to you, but they don't really do anything. They're like, you want to go? You want to go? And you're like, yeah. And they're like, oh, well, I don't actually want to do anything. I don't, I don't want to fight. Stop it. Stop with the ducks! What the ducks ever do to you? Oh, I got a new ship. Oh, you get the new ship by getting to this point. Oh, sure. It's fantastic. I'm gonna pick it up over at the Kia dealership, I guess. I don't know. And I have to shoot down jets and stuff, too. Sure. What is this? Was this like a rail gun on the back of a boat? It annoys me that you can't shoot down the missiles. It's like, if you're gonna do it, everything needs to be explodable in this game. All right, how much better is this other this other thing? Well, it's got torpedoes, that's gotta be good. All right, do I need to do anything about this or does it just do it for me? Oh no, it just, do oh wow, it has missiles too, okay. Wow, I'm firing all the food groups here. Got like giant Totino pizza rolls I'm shooting out of my gun. There's entire Moe's burritos going out of the front of the, of the boat. Can't even call it a boat. It's just a- it's just a murder weapon. That's all it is. Doesn't do anything but kill everything around it. Also, you gotta appreciate how much effort they're going into to keep my shark thing. Again, it does look a lot more like a dolphin. Maybe it's like a doll shark or something like that. Shark fin. Fred's kind of a simple name, though. I don't want to name him, like, Yeetakus the Vile or something like that. Some awesome name. Make him feel like a comic book character. I'm not gonna lie, the, uh, the power creep in this game is kind of substantial. Someone's gonna be like, Great, you've murdered half of the population of the entire planet. How do you feel? I feel like I got a long way to go. I still have no idea what this is. I've never, get it, I've never given it an opportunity to fire at me. I haven't taken any damage yet. Like, none. This is kind of ridiculous. Oh, they finally got, they finally hit me with one rocket. Congratulations, give that guy a raise. He's the only one. I feel like I'm surrounded by stormtroopers inside of Star Wars or something. What are you guys shooting at? Okay, so it's a mini gun on this thing. That makes sense. Now we're starting to make big money though, so this can keep going up. I like how much faster the rockets fire. Eventually the rocket, it's just gonna be like a mini gun made out of ballistic missiles. It feels like such overkill to murder a dude on a jet ski with a torpedo the size of a Kia Sonata. There's no survivors! Where we're going! I love how this dude's just doing barrel rolls. Are you gonna attack me or nope? Just came around to do some barrel rolls. Just wanted to show off his Maverick skills and that was it. I don't know if you get like bonuses or something like that for killing this guy. Okay, so now it's like a wooden boat with a missile on it. Again, not the safest thing I've ever seen, but... Oh, now there's just full submarines. Looks more like a death trap, although I guess, considering current events, that's basically what submarines are. Well, the submarine basically went down like you would expect it to. No joke, you kind of learned the pattern. And, uh, 
It's awful. I mean, the amount of people that die. Even the plane can't make it away now because I know how to lead it. Hey, what's the current life expectancy of someone going after Fred right now? It's like 31 seconds. No joke, it's worse than being a space marine. Welcome to the Titanic of death. Rose did not make it. I love how my missiles just do sweet barrel rolls when there's nothing to blow up. I've got the most acrobatic ordnance in all the universe. Stop shooting at me. I love how the submarine's job is to do absolutely nothing but die. It's like the worst job in the entire universe. Get $11 an hour. People are like, yeah, but what do I actually do? And the recruiter's like, well, you mostly just die. All right, we're getting times three now. I'm killing stuff before it gets on the screen. Like these people are waking up in the morning dead. They didn't even get to go to work. They're like, yeah, boss, I need to call in today. And the boss is like, all right, well, what's wrong? And they're like, I'm dead. Yeah, I don't know what happened. This boat was shooting like 16 miles away. And one of the taquito looking bullets ended up murdering me. You can always tell when I'm hungry because everything looks like a food. There could be random mines in the water. And I would be like, oh, it's like giant cheese puffs. Actually, come to think of it, the, <laughs> the mines do kind of look like cheese puffs. Oh! The submarine fires rockets and the rockets just left. I don't know if you saw that. The rockets literally did a couple of barrel rolls in the sky and uh, that was it. They just left. They, they just they just yeeted on out. I love how none of these guys practice any firearm safety. Like they wake up in the morning with the Uzi in their hand. I finally figured out what these planes, like what their purpose is. Their only purpose is to get in the way. <laughs> What a t- I, I take back what I said about the other job. That is the new worst job. Your job is literally to be a blocker. It's like on your resume, what is your skill set? It's dying so other people don't have to. And they're like, that's perfect. You're hired. We've actually got one position open for just such a guy. Yeah, these are, these are the strangely eating missiles. They jump up in the air from the submarine. They, they, they kind of impress you with their acrobatics, and then they just leave. They just go away. They're no longer on the board. They don't come at you. They don't write you a strongly worded email. They do nothing. Okay, that is a lot of helicopters. How am I supposed to deal with this? How, many, how much money in government dollars is getting exploded right now? Well, guess I need bigger missiles. Oh, my missiles now one tap helicopters. I like that. All right, here's the helicopter spam. Again, I don't know if I have enough rockets to take care of all this, but I'm definitely gonna make them pay. Oh, wow, I did. Wow, they didn't even get a single rocket off. Okay, I think I've, uh, I think, what is this? I guess, I, oh, oh, this is holding my brand new boat. I assume, <laughs> I love how they brought it to me. Well, thank you for dropping it off. That's, that's great, I did. I didn't know that you guys had like a valet parking service. Okay, so now the money starts to get really out of hand and there's a lot to buy. I don't even know what this is. It's a, I mean, it's a cannon. I love how the bullet looks like something out of Super Mario Brothers. Oh my God. <laughs> it's like a one hit kill. Boom. It's like a rail gun, but instead of, you know, being a small, thin, fast projectile, it's just like getting hit by a bowling ball moving at like light speed. Whatever this thing hits, it kills. Now it really sucks to be one of the guys that got hired to go on the jet skis. Like there's not even bone fragments left. You just get evaporated. Because you're hitting someone with a projectile the size of a 16 inch pizza, you don't even have to be close. Here, watch. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. If you're somewhere in the vicinity, they, they just die. It's all right. <laughs> Shit. Poor submarine guys have it hard enough as it is. Now I'm just wearing a crown of missiles. If you notice, it's just like a constantly swirling crown surrounding my boat. Do you know I have yet to take a single point of damage in this thing? All right, missiles. I mean, you guys aren't doing anything, so you know what to do. Go get them. All right, one rocket got off. Whoa, oh, health. Are you, are you gonna drop? Is it? Oh, I thought I had to shoot him. Oh, he's just here to drop off health. That's nice. I didn't know that. I thought I had to murder him in order to get healed. Don't ask me why in order to get healed. I had to do it, such a violent action. I just assume that's how this game works at this point. I haven't met anything I didn't have to kill. 
All right, there's an entire aircraft carrier now burning. I also realized too, my, my buddy Fred is an aquatic creature. There's not gonna be any space left for him to live in the ocean. The ocean is just going to be filled with debris. Yeah, all right, go ahead and land. There we go, nice little heal. Oh, a golden Chinook. I have no idea if that means anything. I am finally at the point where I'm taking damage. Okay, that's a slightly more rusted aircraft carrier, I suppose. I really have no idea. It's a lot of missiles you're shooting, man. Still going. Now they're all golden. Oh my God, that's a lot of guys on the screen I have to kill. Okay, D did I get some money for upgrades? <laughs> yes, good. That railgun thing is so amazing. I had to get it stacked up. Again, I just kind of like aim it in this vicinity and stuff doesn't get to go on the screen. It just dies. I can tell because I can see the shrapnel flying from the right. If it's not an aircraft carrier, it doesn't last long enough to do anything. I actually feel kind of bad for the helicopter spam. They're like, we literally just bought these helicopters and they did nothing. This is why taxes are up. The entire continent of Utopia is over here spending everything they have to try and keep this shark being. Even the aircraft carriers aren't doing any damage. Oh, that is a man on a rocket. Actually, it might be a criminal on a rocket. I love it. So this is what happens if you violate the law, huh? I finally decided on Fred's backstory. I think he was born a shark, but I raised him as a dolphin. Mostly so he didn't try and eat me and I didn't have to eat him. I mean, I'm sure dolphin is probably edible as well, but I would feel like a monster if I ate one. I haven't actually even gotten one of my healing helicopters yet because I haven't taken any damage. All right, yeah, go ahead and park it right here. Yep, bring her on down, thank you. I like the thing that would happen was they used to work for the other side but they got so tired of being strapped to rockets while wearing like 1960s bandanas across the eyes. Some kind of comic book character. But see, I allowed them to get their medical degree. Oh, it is a trio of duck droppers. That I don't like to see. Okay, there's one more goal post left to get past until I finally get to Fred. Upgrades! <laughs> That duck dropper didn't even get to drop one duck. What is a duck dropper that can't drop a duck? Finally, the Healy guy had to do some work. He was, I thought he was on vacation for the past three weeks. I hadn't taken any damage. There's now five missiles that constantly circle my boat. I just realized too, what is actually powering this boat? Like, is it just spite? Because there's no motor on the back. All right, third lighthouse. Still at full health. I kind of want to let this guy go. Yeah, he's the enemy, but clearly he, he's not doing this voluntarily. Okay, now it's helicopter spam, but with the bigger helicopters. Okay, past the fifth marker. Is that, do you see a little, is that a unicorn? Do you see it right there? At the very edge of the screen? Kind of looks like a random unicorn arm or something. Yeah, keep healing me up. This is what it's like to uh, hire a cleric. Like by the hour. Hurry up. I love how it's never the same like helicopter either. It's just a constant conveyor belt of healers. They're really cheap healers though. We didn't even afford whatever, like a landing apparatus for them. They don't have anything to land with. Is there is there no one left to murder? Future Gray here. So the game tried to screw me and you over by having an infinite loop, effectively. The final boat would not come on the screen so I could finally save my shark fin or whatever it is. So I had to play through this entire mess again on a completely different flash program just so I could get here. I hope, Fred, that you understand the sheer amount of agony that I had to do going back to the beginning murdering the entire populace of the planet again 
so that I could get to the final ship. Oh God, hold on. I'm not doing this again. I want to make sure that we get this in this shot. I am as upgraded as insanely possible. There are rockets and torpedoes everywhere, which doesn't matter because the torpedoes aren't really doing very much but blowing up the bombs that the boat shoots out every once in a while. Every single tax dollar in the entire universe has gone towards stealing my friend at this point. I don't even know how this country is going to be able to feed its populace. And now, oh my God, thank you. Finally. I have destroyed. Is there a good ending? There better be like an epic ending for this. Congratulations. There's fireworks. You win. Where's my friend? Oh, he's there. He's swimming with me. Well, I say swimming. He's just kind of violently bouncing in the water. Well, I freed Fred and now I hate myself. Anyway, folks, hope you just episode free Fred. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.